Hi, raster data is the method by which we collect GIS data using pixels. We work with raster data on a regular basis. Any image, digital image that we have that we take with our phone is just made up of tiny little squares called pixels. And we call the, the more number of squares or pixels that we have is referred to as resolution. So the better the resolution, the more squares, the better we can zoom in on. We have the same idea here. We can see we have a DEM. This is called the Digital Elevation Model for Durham. And you zoom in enough and you can start to see the, the tiny little squares that compose it. Now the real world distance represented by each of these squares is referred to as resolution. Underneath of it, I've got a DEM of land cover for 2011. And underneath of that, a, a land cover image for 2019. Uh, we don't have a color map for these, but you can see the patterns look generally the same. Now, within raster operations, we're only able to store one feature or phenomena at the same time. So for one, we have DEM. For another, we have land cover for 2011. For another, we have land cover for 2019. And I can right mouse click on, say, land cover 2011 open up the attribute table, and this attribute table looks a little bit different. I have the values and the counts. Now these values are going to be discrete or categorical values, and these counts represent the number of pixels for each of these counts there. These are NLCD, National Land Cover, uh, National Land Cover Data Set, and so these values correspond to the land cover, whether it's forested or grass or um, density, high, you know, high high intensity density and so you can see for this particular uh, area we're looking at there's about 15 different land covers in total there's probably about 25 or 30 of these individual land cover classifications now within ArcGIS and within our raster data we can do a number of different classifications and raster cl classifications so I could add land cover for 2011 plus the land cover for 2019. Now, it probably won't make a lot of sense if I just add these together because these are classifications, you know, categorical classifications. But I can look at DEM, this DEM here, and I can go to Analysis and Tools. And I can look at my individual toolboxes and I can click on Spatial Analyst Tools. There's a number of different Spatial Analyst Tools. Now under my map project, under looking, we need to make sure that we have Spatial Analyst enabled. Now that's an extra tool, so contact your instructor if you have any questions about that. But we have Spatial Analyst tools, and we're just going to look at a couple of them here. Now we have this thing called Map Algebra. Now we could do calculations with Map Algebra between different data sets or within a single feature, uh, within a single data set. In this one, we're just going to look for, we're going to look at the D, DEM, which is greater than 150. And that's all we're going to look for here. So my DEM is greater than 150. And I'm going to run this. And this is an example here. Now, we talk about the idea of Boolean. So this Boolean means that 1 is true, 0 is false. One is true, zero is false. So now you can see everywhere where it was greater than 150 and in this purple here, green it's false. Now I can do a little bit more robust calculations. Now this land cover 2019, I'm going to see if it's e either equal to 21 And cover equals to 22. And you can see that I've typed it out. So I put these in parentheses because I want to satisfy my order of operations. So the land cover equals 21. This line here means or, or, or. So anything that begins with a 2 in this classification stands for urban, whether it's low intensity or low density up to high intensity, intensity which is 24. And so you, you can see it's a little bit more robust. And so I've got this land cover one classification. I'm going to store this using this feature class. 
and click on Run. So this is a little bit more robust with these map calculations. And now you can see everything that's 1 is going to be some type of urban. Anything that's 0 is not. And now what I want to do is I want to compare these both. I want to see everything that's high elevation that's also urban, high elevation and urban. So now I can compare this land cover 1 versus this DEM. And so these are just two Boolean calculations. Now I can add them, subtract them, multiply them. What I'm going to do is just run an AND, or I can multiply them as well. And I'll multiply them together, because the only way if a 0 times 1 equals 1, 0 times 0 equals 1, if either of them is 0, it's going to be 0. So now the result, they both need to be 1, and that's what we call a Boolean AND. They're going to result in 1. And so this is a, a local operation, and this just does cell-by-cell -cell calculations. And now you can see these areas here in green that are both 21, 22, 23, and 24, and also high elevation. So they satisfy this, and they satisfy this stipulation here. And so these are a couple of very, very simple examples of Boolean algebra and what we call map algebra. Now we can get a little bit more robust where we combine multiple uh, multiple values together when we do, say, land cover classifications. And we're going to look at the last one here with this raster calculator. And now we're going to look at all the areas where land cover classification, we're going to look at something called change detection, does not equal this symbol with the exclamation point, 2019. So now all we're doing is we're doing a pixel by pixel comparison see where the 2011 is not the same as the 2019. See where it changed. I'm going to click on Run. Here's my land. And so now you can see everything in green changed. Everything in pink stayed the same. And we can get a little bit more robust in terms of seeing where everything changed and at the same time, it's 21, 22, 23, 24. So we can see where everything is changing into urban or vice versa.